All right, guys, it's another hot day in the desert, so don't mind my sweaty shirt here. So if, if uh, for those who follow my channel, um, you guys are well aware that for my truck campers, I t traditionally take a 5,000 BTU uh, window AC unit. I've used several configurations over the years, but essentially I create a box with vents uh, and install this into campers so I can have air conditioning off grid. And they turn out to work out pretty well. In fact, uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a video where I ran uh, not this exact AC unit, but this exact model in my current truck camper for over seven hours on a 300 amp hour battery bank. And I still had a little bit of room to go. In that video, uh, I had uh, a couple comments from people who told me that my Dia, which is a manufacturer. Let me scoot over here and get this a little closer here. And again, for don't mind my dirty shirt here. Made a, a window unit air conditioner um, that uses some new technology. They refer to it as their inverter technology. To be honest with you, I don't know exactly what that means, but from what I gather is it can have uh, more control over the compressor to be more efficient. So this is a 5,000 BTU unit, British Thermal Units, and this is a 8,000 BTU unit. So this obviously has more capacity. But the people who, who brought this to my attention said that it's, even though this unit is bigger, it may be more efficient than the 5,000 one. So I set up an experiment. Okay, so we're at the back of my camper here. And again, this is just kind of an ad hoc experiment. We're gonna tie it in with my battery bank. I have one of these uh, meters here that can track uh, uh, kilowatt hours and a couple other things. I'll zero this out, I'll reset it, plug it into my battery bank. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin this AC around. So the air conditioner part is obviously facing to the interior. The condenser will be hanging out the back so it can exhaust properly. And then I am going to cut a piece of thin slit that will go uh, from the top of the door down to the bottom. I'll seal it off the best I can. I will take this thermometer and I will sit it on top of the air conditioner right here. Okay, so it's not in the path of the, the wind coming out of there, but hopefully in time it'll build up and get a set point. Now these simple 5,000 BTU units kind of have this analog switch here. And it kind of works like a thermostat. Now it's not set, you can't uh, determine, you can't say like I want it 70 degrees. It's all kind of just by feel. But I'm gonna spin this bad boy. I'm gonna put this on the seven. I'll do it on high cool. And then the idea is uh, I'll take a test measurement of the temperature before I start. I'm gonna run this AC for an hour uh, through this meter. So we're gonna be able to see the kilowatt, hour use, the kilowatt hour usage. And then at the end of the hour, I'll pull it out. Of course, I'll mark the usage and I'll mark, oopsies, <laughs> I'll mark the temperature that it was on my thermometer. Now the Mydea unit, which we'll do for the second round, actually has a digitized control where I can set the temperature. And what I'll do is I'll set the temperature on that Mydea to the temperature that this ended up maintaining at for the seven mark here. Hopefully I'm trying to kind of approximate the same exact temperature conditions. And we'll also, of course, test it through this, uh, this meter here and see if they're the same. Now, um, for this intro, I am just gonna go ahead and spoil it. That way you guys don't have to go through the whole video if you don't want to. Um, but later clips in the video is I'll, I'll show exactly how I set up the experimental apparatus and, you know, I'll check in periodically if you, and, and I do encourage you guys to watch that because I do think it's important that I get some feedback on if the process was fair or not. But the findings in general is this, um, for cooling from the best that I could decipher getting about the same temperature in the camper. Um, the Mydea is in fact about 10% more efficient than using the 5,000 BTU air conditioner unit. 
Um, on the day of my test, I actually had to, to test this twice. And if you watch the later sections of the video, you'll see why. Um, and the outside temperature and the final test of this uh, was actually um, eight degrees warmer than the initial test with this. Yet this was still 10% more efficient. So um, I feel pretty confident for an initial finding to say that, yes, in fact, this MIDEA unit is more efficient, even though it's larger capacity. Um, now, um, if you were, so I, right now I'm building a new camper and this is what kind of, you know, I, I want to make them as efficient as and as good as I can, of course. So, you know, those people mentioning that, and, and I also have to caveat that a good friend of mine, Gerald, who's a longtime viewer of the channel and uh, is a big contributor to a lot of ideas I have, um, he also bought the MIDEA unit and uh, um, he did a quasi experiment of his own and also found that it, it, even though it's larger capacity, it tended to be more efficient. Um, now, there's a couple considerations to think about um, if you were, even whether you're buying, you know, just going to use it in its, its conventional fashion as a window unit. Or if you were going to, you know, put it in a, in a camper like I do or, or, you know, some other mobile apparatus, which these tend to work pretty well in as far as being able to run them a long time off modern batteries. Um, the, the efficiency alone may not be the only consideration that you guys want to uh, take into place between choosing between either a traditional 5000 BTU unit or the Mydea. So I'm going to talk about a couple pros and cons here. Um, Dimensionally, uh, and again, I've used a couple different brands of these 5,000 BTU units. This one is just a general electric, a very basic one, I believe. Um, but as you guys can see, and let me pull this camera down and kind of lift it up here. Dimensionally, uh, the Mydea is notably larger. Um, the width is about an inch and a half wider. They're obviously about the same height. But the Mydea has, you know, about another uh, seven or eight inches of extra length here. Now, you'll notice this little U shape here. Again, in the conventional use of these, this would go into a window, and the window would actually shut over this. This part would stay toward the inside of the house, and the condenser half would be on the outside. Now, of course, I'm modifying the U slightly for uh, my purposes, um, but that's one consideration, is they are, the Mydea uh, is dimensionally larger. So uh, for me, that's a consideration because putting them in the small campers, it's something I have to count for. Now, I've decided that I am going to use the Mydea in there, but that's one consideration. Consideration number two is weight. Your average 5,000 BTU window AC unit is going to weigh about um, 35 to 40 pounds, this Mydea unit weighs about 55 pounds. So you're going to have about 20 pounds more of weight. I think in most cases that that's, uh, you know, marginal enough to be accepting, but you need to know. Another factor that kind of goes against the Mydea, though, is cost. Um, you can pick up your standard 5,000 BTU window unit for, you know, maybe 150 to 200 bucks. I've seen this unit right here range from... Uh, three to four hundred dollars so you know a little bit more money however the pros of the idea outside of it appears to be more efficient is you can control it via your app uh, it's got a digital display that's a little bit more modern or a little bit more modern um, the the actual when you turn it on this little this little panel here lifts up and you can actually change it to where the the fins will oscillate so it kind of projects the air in a different fashion. Uh, for some people, including myself, I actually really like that feature. Um, the maintenance is a little bit easier on this. This whole front panel pulls off to clean out the filter. The 5000 BTU units are not hard, but it's a little bit more challenging, especially if you're installing it in a non-conventional fashion. Um, but what may be the real game changer that might direct some of you guys toward a unit such as this one is you can buy a heat pump version of this. Now, this one right here is just the straight up AC one. I also ordered the heat, heat pump one, which will be coming in in a few days. I'm gonna rerun the test, but from what I can gather from the literature online is the heat pump unit is a little bit larger, just by a few inches. Um, 
uh, but it seems to have the same inverter technology. So from what I could gather, it should be just as efficient as this. Um, and, you know, now we know heat pumps have their own limitations too. Uh, the Mydea one, you can't use it below 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but, you know, depending on where you live, and, and I'm in the desert southwest, you know, that would still be useful. I mean, it, it's it's pretty uncommon that I'm camping below those temperatures, at least personally. Um, and the heat pump one is actually really no more money than this one. So I think it's nice to have that capa that capability on hand. Uh, one other note about the Mydea is it does tend to also be notably quieter when it runs. Um, at full cool with the compressor on, with this being on the inside of the house or the inside of the camper, it seems to only be about 30 or so decibels. Um, I think I've measured these in the 50 to 60 decibel range. So this is definitely a little bit quieter. So um, listen, I understand a lot of people don't want to watch the videos, but I do encourage you uh, continue to watch the rest of the video to see exactly how I set up my experimental conditions. Um, it's a little ad hoc. I mean, I'm just a, a garage tinkerer here myself. Um, I think this uh, experiment is due for a repeat. Um, or, you know, that's, that's science, right? Is we do an experiment and it should be replicatable, meaning somebody else out there can set up similar conditions. Now, you guys will see that I, I did it in my particular camper here. I do, obviously, everyone's going to have their own rig. But I do encourage you guys out there, if you have the occasion, to do your own experiment. Um, I, I only, I'm not necessarily promoting a particular brand here, other than the fact that this Mydea brand seems to have, uh, at least from what I could tell, uh, this, this, this advantage, this technology advantage. And I'm not aware of it being someplace else. But if it is, please, please let me know. Um, if any of you guys replicate any kind of experiment out there and you want it to be uh, highlighted on my platform, either whether you shot your own video or you just give me some, you know, a, a written response as to what you did and your findings, let me know and I'd be very happy to repeat it. Uh, I'll, I'll put out a companion video here probably in a week or two when I get that heat pump unit. I won't be, it's too hot for me to try the heat pump aspect of it. Uh, but I'll at least give you guys my impressions. I'll try to replicate the same experiment. Hopefully I can do the two tests back to back so the outside temperature is a little closer. And I would imagine the idea will probably come in a little bit more efficient. So uh, guys, but uh, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, be kind. And if you do have a criticism or some sort of thought, I appreciate it. And I want that feedback. Just do me one favor, though, and be specific. Sometimes I get a little bit of feedback where somebody just says a blanket statement with nothing to back it up. And that's not really useful for me or everybody else. So uh, continue watching on the video. You'll see how I set up the experimental conditions and kind of as I check in. But otherwise, this is kind of an exciting uh, update for uh, off-grid air conditioner options for campers, RVs, vans, etc. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we've got the test rig set up. I'm actually changed my mind. I'm going to leave the temperature gauge right here. At the beginning of this test, it is at 111 degrees. We've got the uh, kilowatt meter zeroed out. And we've got the little quasi thermostat thing set at 7. Let's go ahead turn this bad boy on okay so this is what i did is uh so the door will be open this is sitting at the lower level of course we know in a final installation having the ac down low is not ideal but for the purposes of this experiment it's going to be fine and this is the sheet of insulate it's tucked in pretty well you can see that we have the vents and the condenser all on the outside and the cooling side or the evaporator side is all sealed up to the inside. We're gonna let this bad boy run an hour. We're gonna stop it. We're gonna mark the measurement of the temperature that it ultimately settled at. It's starting at 111 degrees. And um, we'll check our kilowatt usage. We'll document that. We'll reset the meter. We'll put in, the, install the idea in the same way but we'll adjust the thermostat down to the final resting temperature that this rig had established. And let's see if we can get a result.
All right, so we've reached the hour. So let's pull this down and see what the temperatures look like. All right, so we just pulled this down and it looks like our main temperature in here is 77. So that's what we will set the idea at. We're gonna shut this off. So we've got 77 and then let's see how many kilowatt hours we have used here. 0 0.446. 0.446 kilowatt hours. So we will reset that. We're gonna leave the door in here to warm up a little bit back to 112 and then we'll continue the experiment. Okay, so the Mydea is definitely a physically larger item and the front portion here wouldn't actually fit through the doorway which i think is fine we can work around it so i've got it wedged in between the door here this little u shape here because of course this is meant to be a window unit is you would put this the, the window would you know an up and down sliding window would slide in here and lock in place this portion would be on the inside where the cooling is and this is of course the the condenser side so what we'll do is when i seal it up with the insulate I'll just pull it down, stuff it down to this U, stuff it around here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start phase two. Uh, one, one thing I forgot to, to mention in the first section, it was about 92 out, now it's 94. Um, inside the camper though, it's 111, we got it back up. We're gonna put that back up where it was. Uh, as I mentioned, the idea is a little too wide to fit in as far as the other one, but I've got it sealed off on the side there. And of course, I'll pull down the thin slit over the side and insert it in there. Um, as you guys can see, the kilowatt meter, hold on, sorry about that. The kilowatt meter is at zero. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. I'll jump out real quick, set, put down the thin slit, set the timer, so it's on. Okay, I apologize guys about some of that bouncing around video. Okay, so the Mydea is running. We've got our clock going, the pressure's kicked on. Like I said, we had to seal this one up slightly different. Um, so just to be sure, I added a little bit of thin slit in the crack of the door. This came around the U, a little bit of tape there. And uh, it's not a perfect seal, but uh, I think it's gonna be good enough for the test. So uh, uh, let's, uh, right now it's been about five minutes since I've had this bad boy running. Let's uh, come back in a little bit and uh, see if we get a result. Okay, so we did the first test with the Mydea and um, this only got down to 82. I was guessing a little bit because of just that analog knob on the um, 5000 BTU unit. And we did use less power though. Um, we used 0.36 um, kilowatt hours, which is pretty close to 25% less. Looks like we did run a little bit longer though. But I'm gonna do another round and I'm gonna lower the temperature on this to see if we can get this sitting up here down to 77. It's a little bit of a guesswork. Let's see what we could do. And when I turned on the Mydea, I set it at 77, um, but this was only 82. So I'm gonna lower the temperature on the Mydea. Um, actually, hold on, let me plug this in. We got the meter zeroed out and I lowered the temperature on the Mydea down to 68. Uh, it is a little warmer out, uh, but we're gonna rerun it again just for, to be sure. Um, but the results are encouraging because it looked like uh, um, if it, everything was the same, it was using about a quarter less energy than the 5,000 BTU unit. So let's see how the tests go here. The outside, outside temperature now is eight degrees warmer. However, as we can see, we've hit just at the hour and we're at 0 0.403 kilowatt hours. So that's definitely less energy than 
the 0.446 that we saw with the 5000 BTU unit.